Monday afternoon here in the auditorium at Ebenezer. And uh, wait, can y'all see that? Getting ready for this Sunday sermon and uh, studying on relationships here. Uh, absolutely vital and key. Let me give you a couple of quotes. Um, one, um, proximity to someone does not mean intimacy to someone. And so I tell you, sometimes in life, uh, and I've experienced this in my own life, and it's actually very scary and frustrating, is when you're surrounded by people and you're all alone. And uh, I remember one time in a season of life, man, that was a hard thing um, because I was, um, I mean, I was, this, this has been years back. Um, I, I had a lot of people in my life, and I was surrounded uh, by people, but I was all alone. And so I was in proximity to a lot of people. Um but really did not have intimacy with anyone, not um, not true relationship, not true companionship. And uh, it was a time in my life when I really needed a friend. And then um, secondly, uh, I would say that uh, it's costly to have relationships. Um, it, it'll cost you something to have true, authentic relationships. But then when you have... Ah, can you see me better now? There you go. Uh, but when you have true, authentic relationships, it will cost you something, but it also pays in dividends. Um, and so relationships cost, but they also pay. And so um, it, it's worth the effort. It's worth, worth the time. Uh, you get out of it what you put into it. And, uh, yeah, I encourage you to be connected. Uh, part of being connected to God is also being connected to the body of Christ. So I'm going to take a little break from studying here, go upstairs, and uh, let's see what's going on up there. I think the boys are up to a little something, something. Yo, 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 yo. What? What? What's going on in here? We're doing stuff, okay? Look at... <laughs> I love it. Mert doesn't have to have a ladder to tap off, tape off for the paint. I see y'all fixed the hole in the walls here. Um, what about here? Working on what, it, bro. What are we gonna... What color are we going with up in here? Hot pink. Hot pink? Oh. Alright, going for a light gray. That's what's at my house right now. They're painting at my house light gray. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. We just want to be like you. Aw. Oh. That'll really, that'll really help this room along if it's more like me. No doubt about it will. Yeah. So y'all see how Tanner's in a chair. And Ron just reaches up there. That's not saying Tanner's any less of a man. Found another hole or two in the wall here. What's going on here? I'll throw a rent in the wall with rent on my back, so. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Bunch of horse playing shenanigans. So what are we gonna do with the ceiling? So you guys see the before. Now here in a few days, we'll see the after. All right, guys, here it is, Wednesday afternoon. Uh, yesterday, chill day. Just kind of did some studying and stuff. But uh, RJ and them are at the office, and I am uh, picking up paint for the guys because they are painting the youth room. So they asked for my help. I'm glad to help. I'll pick up paint. Here we go. Paint. So they type in the computer. Hang on, wait for it. They type in the computer what color. And this this little machine right here just puts in the uh, puts in the color in the white paint and you can mix it. It's it's amazing. Alright guys, here it is, Thursday afternoon. Uh, been on the go all day. I uh, just got done doing a funeral over in Snellville. And um, actually, so I attended uh, the viewing a funeral this morning. And then I led uh, the service in a funeral this afternoon. And, um, you know, I, I don't always vlog whenever I do a funeral. But just, I think it is healthy and good, you know, um, from time to time. Just to mention this, the the funeral we attended this morning, it was some friends of ours, and um, their little girl, she had had some health issues, so they were expecting, well, I, don't, I wouldn't say they were expecting, but 
she had some health issues, but she was young. She was two or three years old, and she passed this past weekend. And then the funeral I led this afternoon was a 52-year-old man. Just suddenly, they found out he had stage four cancer, and his health declined quickly after. And he passed, you know, and I don't know. I know I say this from time to time on this vlog, but, um, man, life is short. Death is real. Eternity is long. Um, and you, you just never know when life's going to be up and over. And so, uh, encourage you to hug your babies tonight. Love on your wife. Uh, love on your husband, your spouse. And um, don't let foolish things keep you from living a good life. And don't get caught up on little things that you need to let go. And uh, allow God to work in you and through you. Oh no! Our door! It doesn't fit in the hole. It's the right width, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to cut this door. Make her fit. No problem. Alright guys, so I just measured the door frame. It is 80 or excuse me, the door is 80 inches tall. And the uh, the frame is only 79. So I'm gonna take a half inch off both sides of the door and just cut that right off and it should fit just fine. I hope that's how it works. Hey right, guys, we're out here on the porch and uh, we're gonna take several precautions to try to make sure I don't mess this door up. So we're gonna take a half inch off this side and a half inch off that side. But then also, I'm gonna put tape where the saw blade's going to go. And uh, when you put tape down, it helps to keep the, the uh, wood, the surface from tearing and fraying as you cut through there. So um, I'm gonna do one more quick measurement just to be sure we're right on. So the door that I wanted, they did not have the hinge cutouts on the right side. So uh, the way this is right now, the hinges go like that, which would make my door open the wrong way. So I have to just take this out. Thankfully, I have this really, really cool tool right here, multi-purpose tool. Should make this easy, but I just gotta trim this out so my hinges fit flat in there. Actually, they'll go like that, but yeah. So here we go. Guys, yeah, so I've leveled this door up right here, and uh, I have it sitting on some shims. Got a level on top. Now I'm gonna try to screw this in. Oh, look at that! This is gonna work out perfectly. So I just need to draw. Um, sketch these out. I need to trim out a little space. So what I'm gonna have to do, that's perfect. Look at that line. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna have to take and draw around here. Draw around here and trim into the board. And that'll be it, man. We'll be done. So this is beautiful. Alright guys, here we are. Well, let me peel this tape off right here. I believe this is the finished product, so somewhere along there I got to paint the door and my painter left but other than that and I got to get a door handle but y'all check it out handle yep 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 nothing a little TLC won't take care of and uh, so now I just gotta I'm gonna have to get a doorknob and a little kit right there I'll be perfect voila nothing to it and also, uh, a guy named Jason came by, Jason Forster, who sands floors. And uh, he was giving me a quote, he's gonna come by, sand all the paint off our floors. 
Look, got to get countertops. The countertop guy just called me. Well, I'm telling you guys, once we sand these floors, countertops, we're going to be in business. Finish your yogurt, Nathan. You going to eat your yogurt? Finish it. All right, guys, here we are. We just pulled into uh, Piedmont. It used to be Athens Regional down here, and off Prince Avenue in downtown, and we're super excited because Aunt Allie it's has had Maggie. what? What, Caroline? Aunt Allie's having Maggie. That's right, baby Maggie's here. Welcome, baby Maggie. Gavin, you ready to go see your new cousin? You were the baby for only one month. Gavin used to be the baby cousin. But now he's the big cousin. We're going up. <laughs> We're going up, right? Yeah. Ready? Here we are. Look who's here. What's up, baby Clark? Ah! Alright. The big surprise. What? <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my goodness! She had, Caroline had your nose and she has my hair. Look at that! Did that surprise you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but not really because of the heartburn and the. Now let him. Burn. Wow. Okay. Hey, Gavin! Gavin, meet your cousin! Gavin! Cousins. Now, now Gavin's a big cousin. Hang on, let me stretch him out. I wonder if they love on each other. Look at those babies. We got a big sister here. You don't need to go there, Caroline, big sister, feeding Gavin. Oh. Uh, she feels. Yeah. She feels bigger than him. She's longer than he is. She was 22 inches long. She's gonna be tall like her daddy. Look at her coloring. What is that? What is that? And that means that's happy faces.